You are watching in-depth, in-real-life gameplay coverage of the Star Wars Destiny Prime Championship held on October 5th in beautiful Portland, Oregon, USA. This event was hosted and run by Smugglers Run Gaming. Find them on Facebook at Smugglers Run Gaming. Event officiating and video coverage provided by Dice Commando. Hello everyone and welcome to Dice Commando for round one coverage of today's Prime Championship here in Beaverton, Oregon. On our left we have Sean. He's playing the Jaws, Jabba, Watt, and Sentinel deck. He of course is on Theed Palace. And on our right we have a Chopper, Fateful Companions, so that's the four die Chopper, also on Theed Palace. So uh, we are keeping the round timer on the table today. This is actually the official round timer for the tournament and it just started. So the two shields will go on. All right, and Brandon will get us started. All right, opens with one for an off the sensors. All right, going right into it. Seems like a good start versus this resource generation deck. All right, so in come two characters at the same time, 3PO and R2. Off the sensor, of course, pay one. Spotting a red character allows for activation of two characters. He will do his flip into the disrupt. There we go. And then he will use the 3PO resolve to crush Sean's resources. There we go. All right, Sean gets his first action. Oh, we are using FC. Okay, using Faithful Companions to take two shields, which both go on to chop. All right, now Sean will get his action. Jabba coming in, looking for money. It's a plus two and a one discard. He will look at the top four cards of his deck as per Jabba's ability. He gets to choose one yellow event or bounty. He's not likely playing any bounties. No good for me dead goes to his hand. He places the remaining three on the bottom of his deck in any order of his choice. And it'll go back to Brandon. All right, so Salvaged Arm comes down for free with Chowper's power action, reducing the cost of a droid mod by one. Watt comes in with a focus. That's looking good for Sean. Chopper's coming in. I think he's hoping for discard here, but he'll take a... No, he'll certainly take that disrupt as well. One melee. That can become, of course, two melee if he so chooses. The disrupt can, of course, become due disrupt as well with that Salvaged Arm. Back to Sean here. All right, so he's going to Sinister Peace, except the uh, oh, gentleman Sinister Peace is a two or more. So just to be clear, in the Swiss rounds, we have a non-interference policy. We will only come as judges. We will only come if there is a judge call that needs to be made. Once we hit the finals, or once we hit the top cut today, that is actually not the case. We are sitting and watching the games. But for the Swiss, it gives an unfair advantage to the people on stream if we interview, or interfere, excuse me. All right, so there's a feed, actually, for the dollar instead of hitting. All right, Sentinel comes in with a blank. He'll get to look at the top card of his deck. Does not choose to play it. All right, paying one for a grappling arm onto chop. Back to Sean here. So Brandon is about, I mean, he still has cards in hand, but he's about done here. He's out of money. All his characters are in. All right, there's the one focus to the money. Okay. All right, there's a motive on the money calling probably focus. It's a blank either way. Certainly didn't call blank. So we do see a Megas there in Sean's hands. So that's what he's going to try to build into here. He'll have to pitch to reroll at this point. Right, Sean's action here. He's pitching to reroll something. We don't know what it is yet. All right, well connected is what he drops. He probably, of course, wanted that for the money there. Oh, all the money he wanted. That's a huge roll. Can Brandon control the resource? Cannot, so he'll pass. So Sean goes into five, and that's 
fist, I mean, it certainly, we saw the megas in his hand, so it's certainly megas range, but it could potentially be fist range. Okay, so he's going to delve into, is it the fist or the megas? It is the megas. All right, so he'll deal himself one indirect, which went on to the sentinel, as per the delve, and then uh, megas comes in for free. All right, we pass again, goes to Sean here. One, a two disrupt, and a two gun. Brandon was looking well in hand of, or well in charge of this hand here, or this round here, but I think Sean is uh, going to claw his way back. All right, there's a pitch to reroll for the Megas. It's another gun. Then we'll go four into, goes for R2 first, so R2 takes the four. And that'll probably do it, right? All right. So first round, roughly five and a half minutes. And we'll get started with our second round here after we draw up. And we'll take our round resources as well here. Sean is, of course, at four. Brandon will be at two. All right, well, hopefully we catch those resources there. All right, that's a great roll by Chopper there. Comes in swinging. I do remember that one of those can be resolved for plus one. It's not a kill on anybody yet, but with 3PO, that can be a big deal. So it is Sean's chance to respond here. An Ewok ambush or something like that looks real good. There's the two round resources, no worries. Sentinel comes in with a one focus that does turn on potentially Forsaken. He gets to look at the top card. He's considering playing it. If not, he needs to put it back. You can see the shadow of it there hovering over the deck. Looks like he's going to play it. Spends two. Oh, it's a TIE Fighter. That's big. So now he gets to search his deck for another TIE Fighter. And he has Ambush. And I highly suspect he drops another TIE Fighter. Alright, so it is still Sean's action here with the Ambush. But Sean is not taking it, it looks like. So, yep, we have the Ewok Ambush as expected. So R2 will come in, spot 3PO to flip a die to any side. Which, of course, goes to the 2. Sounds pretty good. And then we have Ambush here. All right, there's 3PO. Coming in with a $1, one resource. And what die is he going to do? Okay, it looks like Chopper is going to get resolved for 4 using the 3PO plus 1 and the Salvage Darn plus 1. So that 4 damage will go into, it looks like, Jabba there. All right, so 6 health remaining on Jabba. Oh, and then he will, all right, Fateful as well. I assume on the R2 ability to deal the additional 3. Yep, there we go. So three health remaining left on Jabba now. Not bad. This four die chopper deck's pretty good. All right, Jabba coming in, and Sean will get to look at the top four of his deck. Can only pull a yellow card. Looks like he struck out there. Oh, that was very nice. All right, so what we saw was the overwrite. So um, he's using that action there to note that's his overwrite token. So he overwrote the used salvage arm with the unused salvage arm. This is going to allow him to continue to resolve his melee at bonus. All right, guys, that is another sinister piece for a non-two side.
and that is again that is both players responsibility here to maintain um, there was actually no legal target on the board there that time all right so there's one at a plus one for two so Jabba now has one health remaining uh, but Brandon should be able should be in a lot better position here all right there's Watt one indirect now that Watt power action has not been used yet all right there's one for the fickles coming down that's a really good one with C3PO as you can imagine at the plus one very cost-effective. Back to Sean here, his action. Pays two, that'll be his other tie, I assume. Nope, he's buying, okay, buying the Fickles, fair enough. Now he could take the money and then potentially buy it back, but Sean will roll it in here, I'm sure. Oh, okay, fair enough. He just got rid of his hand. Now, do do remember that the chopper power action hasn't been used yet, so he can actually recycle that other salvage arm from his discard if he so chooses, or any other mod, of course. But he's out of control, and he's gonna he's gonna pay for it this round because that one focus on the table turns into a two focus, and things get ugly. All right, so there was a pass. He actually didn't buy the uh, fickles back. He's gonna continue to pass, or or will have claimed here. I didn't see any tap, but it's with no cards in hand. He's not fooling anybody. So Sean will get to go out here. All right, take some money. There's a well connected. He's going to drop another tie. And he's just going to storm in here. So that'll allow for a tutor. That was the watt power action. So it's not yet activated. Yep, another tie. He does have does have the money. This is gonna be this is gonna be a rough a rough round. All right, and actually, I said earlier he had the money, but he may not uh, may not actually do that because he'd have to actually flip into it. So, all right, okay, so he's going to do it that way. No good to me, dead. He'll heal two on R two and gain two dollars, which will allow him to play his other tie. So it comes in. All right, time to start resolving. I would think. So do remember that the one tie is not activated All right, there's a one focus oh, I'm surprised he's not going to the lot two focus but that'll work I suppose alright so there's a kill that probably wasn't the most efficient but he does get another reroll in here gets a one again so he'll be able to put two into R2 so he deals the one indirect first which gets soaked up on the shield and then oh he's going for chops alright so one net through the shields there and then that looks like it'll be it All right so we get a full draw on uh, sorry 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 Sean has one left in his hand so he'll get a four card draw five card draw on the other side of the table because that last card got dropped there with the fickles but he does start with four dollars so could be in a especially with that salvage arm could be in like a really good Chewie's blaster range if he pulls that no we just saw him draw, draw the dagger mortis also we saw him draw the easy pickings which will certainly help versus these tie or could in theory help versus these ties right so we'll get us started I, he's going to need the extra die on the table. I tell you what, though, with uh, so there's one, two, four, 
Okay, Rex Pistol. That's pretty slick, actually. It does own the battlefield. So Rex Rex Blaster, when it when you activate the character, if you own the battlefield, you can activate another one of your characters, and then the after abilities do stack. All right, Jabba coming in. Jabba, not long for this role, did get a two focus, so he's certainly going to have to blow him off the table. So look at the top four, pull the yellow event. It looks like Desperate Measures. Is that what that is? It is, yes. All right, goes back on the bottom. All right, and I'd imagine we're going to see some droids coming in over here. He may actually overwrite. I don't know what he wants to keep for control. Yeah, so he's just going to do it. I was thinking he could potentially bring in the dagger, but... All right, so there's a two-gun and a blank on 3PO. And then, the, yep, of course, he'll bring in Chopper. He's explaining it right now on how it works, yep, but he's he's correct. So Chopper will come in. Now, there's no flips here because R2's, R2's dead, but... Okay, now he has the C-3PO resolve, but R2 is dead though, so that does hurt him there. Okay, so there's the one to drop Jabba, and this is, and then he's okay, and he's paying one more for Fateful, so he's going to do one more, and then he's going to discard, and is he going to pump it? And by pump it, I mean use the salvage. It does not look like he's salvaged army. Yeah, okay, he is. He is. So he just needs to exhaust that to mark that. And of course, that uh, overwrite token comes off. But we'll all just track. We, we're all just tracking. We know that that overwrite token's not there. All right. Fickle's coming in. That was a smart move on Sean's part, just getting it in in case he gets bought. Back to Brandon here. I think, I think he's a huge risk of getting overrun here this turn, but... All right, pitching the dagger to re-roll is two blanks. The Rex pistol can't get much better. All right, focus and the, uh, the blank on the grappling arm. Now, he did pump that two discard, so that, that salvage arm should be exhausted. All right, Megas came in, one, one, and a blank. It looks like a pretty good pickings. I think that's what we're getting. Yep, picks the ones. Every die helps, right? All right, Ty coming in. One dollar. What are we looking at here? Two, two. You're going for what? Nope, it's going for Sentinel. All right, so Sentinel takes the two. Ty coming in, gets a one. So Sean has to still come up with 15 damage this round. That doesn't seem highly likely. So there's a focus to likely the one, which it is. All right, there's a Forsaken. That one's legal. One die in his pool, so it gets his own die removed. Now, the chopper power action hasn't been used yet. Can, again, rebalance that salvaged arm if he wants. The one in his discard pile, I mean. All right, so we go into another tie activation. Here comes Watt looking for focus. Gets, I mean, the money's not bad either. All right, yep, there's the chopper power action. See if he pulls the grappling arm or the salvaged arm. Probably, yep, I like that. I like that. Yep, salvaged arm up. All right, Sean will take his two. I do note that Sean had been keeping his resource in the middle of the board. He's kind of got on the bottom of the screen there now, but he does have the four. All right, Sentinel coming in, and then he'll get to look. That's a focus. That's big. Does not play it. All 
It looks like we had a pass there. Oh, there's another Megas. Things just got real ugly. All right, and then it'll come in. So we've either had a claim or a pass out here. All right, Sean has enough for reroll. All right, drops his motive to reroll, reroll all the blanks, or basically he'll reroll everything that's not damaged right now, right? He did pick up the two for one on the Faust. All right, lots of blanks there. Pace I did get to pick up the one gun on the Fickle. Got the two gun on the uh, Megas. All right, so there's four. He's got one card. Oh, it's his. Uh, that's, I'm positive that's his fist. Yep, he's got to do it. He still has to focus out. All right, there's some more guns, two more blanks, but he does have the focus, so he'll go to the plus two, I'm sure, and just try to maximize. I guess there's no reason to go to the plus two. We can go to the base two. Sean's is doing his math here, but Chop is dead. And then we'll get a two and a three PO. And then it's pretty much a formality at this point, unfortunately. All right, we're just doing housekeeping now, but all right, get into what will likely be the final round here. You have 13 minutes and change left in round. All right, so just grabbing it. Yeah, there we go. Let's get, grab our resource tokens. Not a problem. And then we'll get started. All right, so he's looking for either an upgrade or just rolling in three. All right, so three PO's coming in. What is that yellow die? That's a chopper die that needs to get out of there. Yeah. And then he can resolve that indirect right away if he wants. I don't know why he wouldn't. Unless he's looking for targeted, but... No, maybe not. Yep, so he'll just do it. Deal the two indirect across the table. Sean will take them on the shields. Makes sense. All right, and then Sean will start his long process here, bringing in all his stuff. Yep, gets the fickles out. I could have seen the argument for buying the fickles before 3PO rolled in, right? But we don't know what else he has in his hand here, so... Thinking it over here. All right, there's a drop to. Oh, well, I think that's. I think he's actually pacifying. I think. Just remove a character die, give that character two shields. Yep. I don't know. I do like to pacify into a Foss die, but you got to do what you got to do. All right, Mega is coming in. Right, there's three, and that three indirect is not so indirect any longer. Yep, so I'll just do that, and that'll do one net through the two shields. There we go. All right, back across.
All right, okay, there's a counterintelligence. We're going to see what he's got. All right, Pickens is offline. So it, he spots a leader and gets to put an event back on top of his deck. All right, so at this point, we know Sean's got it. There's no, no removal left here. Oh, well, it's not entirely true. He has a convergence, so... Okay, yeah, so he's going to reach across. He knows there's... Is not, not keeping any secrets now that he knows what's in his hand, so... All right, nicely done, gentlemen, for round one today here at the Prime Championship. If you like what we're doing here on the Dice Commando channel, please show your support with a like and a subscribe. Please remember to keep all comments civil and constructive and to help us continue to grow this amazing community. Thank you for watching Dice Commando. Hey, this is Sean. Thanks for watching Dice Commando. Like and subscribe, and also check out Bunsen Brewer, because they host sweet tourneys. Thank you.